Many of you are dying to know why one web story generates traffic on Google Discover and one doesn't. And this episode is not about that. But if you're obsessed about this topic, you should absolutely stay and watch, as today I'm interviewing Jonathan Swark, the co-founder of Join, a startup that brings web stories directly onto the client's websites. Not only that, they are showing how web stories can bring you success without even having the chance of appearing on platforms like Google Discover. Jonathan, welcome to Storytime. Can you give us a brief introduction about what Join is and who you are? Yes, of course, Paul. So my name is Jonathan, I'm the co-founder of Join and we are a startup uh, based in Paris and we are building Join Stories, um, which is a software that helps brands and media create, but also integrate web stories onto their websites in the simplest way possible. And what kind of users and clients do you have on Join and what are they using Join for? We are working with large accounts um, that can be media groups, but also e-commerce. And we are also working with like smaller agencies that create websites, actually. Um, they integrate how web stories onto the websites they are selling to final clients. And how users uh, are not designer. Uh, they are content manager, they are digital managers. Actually, these are people that really do understand the power of, of web stories, but they need a tool to help them create it very um, fast and integrate them also in a very smooth way. That makes a lot of sense. I think a lot of people are struggling with design and web stories, so uh, you are absolutely right here. What kind of stories do your clients create? Actually, if we talk about how e-commerce clients, uh, they are creating web stories to present their new products, but also their new collections. But they are also using web stories to humanize their website. Um, think about product pages. They can capitalize on user-generated content or like influencer content and integrate that kind of content directly on the product pages thanks to the web story format. Do you have a few stats in particular that you can share with us? You know, web stories on the website means users stay longer. So it leads to a better monetization. Uh, concerning KPIs, uh, we see thanks to web stories, an average of uh, a plus 20% of organic traffic uplift. But we also see a 3% RPM uplift and we also uh, saw a page view session that has doubled thanks to web stories. So, you know, I'd say uh, that we try to bring a kind of scientific approach um, to the web stories. And I think this is why our clients um, are choosing us. How do you bring web stories to your clients' website? Um, you know, the team uh, worked a lot to create a very, very simple process of integration. So today, with only one line of code uh, that you just have to copy paste on the header of your website, your stories can be live. Um, and you can choose the position of your stories, uh, but also the design uh, of the widgets. You can also choose to display um, a widget of stories to a dedicated audience. So we've been talking a lot about your approach, but let's talk about the editor itself. It's very simple and streamlined. You offer very specific templates for your clients that can only be customized to a certain degree. Why do you choose to restrict the freedom of your story editor? You know, this is a key differentiator uh, for us. Our users are not designers. Um, they are content managers. They are digital managers. Um, it means that they do not have any creative background. Um, so our purpose is really to help them create beautiful stories uh, in a reduced timing. So, you know, if you give users uh, all the, you know, freedom possible, they'll change everything. It's human. Um, you know, people will, will want to change the position of the assets, the position of the text boxes, the colors, the font, I mean, everything. And, you know, at the end of the day, the story they will produce will be super, super different from the from the template they got uh, to start. And I'd say that 80% of the time, the story they will create won't respect um, the criteria to have a good stories. 
It means that high user start from a pre-designed template that they are that I that is made actually for a specific use case, actually um, presenting the product, for example. And so our users uh, are able, of course, to change uh, the images. They can add their font. Uh, they can, you know, type their their text. Uh, they can integrate the colors, but if you take the example of a template with, for example, three different photos, they won't have the possibility to change the way those three photos are displayed together, the way we imagine those three photos uh, on the template. Um, and by doing so, we can guarantee the user that, you know, the stories at the end of the day will respect good design criteria for the end um, users. If they are not happy with the templates, they can change it, you know. And trust me, there is also another super good point for customers with that kind of hybrid version of freedom. They save a lot of time because they do not really have a lot of things to change on the story. And trust me, if you save time to customers, it's happy customers. Awesome. Thank you so much, Jonathan. And if you're a brand or a website trying to save time, and if this sounds interesting to you, check out Join. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next episode. Onwards. Mm -hmm.